Brent Solomon continues our team coverage. Brent? Heather Kurt, what we do know is hours before the shooting, the suspect resigned from his job, saying he had personal troubles. Just hours before America's most recent mass murder, suspect Dwayne Craddock emailed in his resignation as a city engineer, writing in part, quote, It has been a pleasure to serve the city, but due to personal reasons, I must relieve my position, end quote. At 4 p.m., he began shooting the people he worked with. Claudia was screaming, active shooter, active shooter. Run. Her friend Keith Cox rushed her and seven others into an office and told them to barricade the door while he went looking for others. Seconds later, gunfire tore through the door and walls. Cox did not survive. Keith gave his life to save seven of us. God knew what he was doing when he put him on the surf. He gave us a guardian angel. The gun battle with police went on for many minutes. The suspect shot and killed. Once arriving, police could escort the employees out. They were told not to look down as they stepped over the bodies of their co-workers. I said, I can't do it. He said, you're strong. You can do it. And when I stepped over. I didn't realize at the time that was one of my friends, Missy. Missy Langer was an administrative assistant. Her brother, Frank. Well, he, he took one of the best things I had. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. And he took a lot of other families pride and joy away from them, too. Twelve lives lost. Four people still in the hospital, and investigators continue to work the crime scene. The police chief says the suspect's motive for killing his co-workers remains a mystery. Virginia Beach police are combing through all aspects of the suspect's background for anything that could lead to a motive. In the meantime, the city is offering counseling to its employees. Those affected are even being allowed to take the week off. On your side, Brent Solomon, back to you.